So Saucony has released their fall winter collection and they have sent me a pair from the current machine pack and like all the other current packs they are taking inspiration from American history and this pack especially is taking inspiration from the industrial revolution. Uh, I have no idea why they have chosen a tan and eggnog colorway for one pair and a gray pair for the other one but both feature a machine badge here at the tongue and that's probably why it is called machine pack and it also features some 3m hits here on the heel and on those three saucony dots this is 3m of course as well and um, quality on this one is pretty good actually i do like the leather a lot it reminds me a lot of a new balance 1300 that i have which has a similar leather and also similar leather quality it is a very nice new buck right here on the mud guard throughout the heel cup and this beautiful let's hear it Saucony calls it a wolverine silky suede and that describes it pretty well actually it is very silky and very smooth and i do like it quite a bit maybe you can see the brush strokes here on it and the nice thing is they haven't stopped at the leather quality they have they have also given this a very nice mesh on the toe box. It is a very open pore kind of mesh, as you can see. It's very soft to the touch and does remind me a lot of a Made in Italy Theodora that I have. Very nice quality all around and of course to top it all off a gum bottom so gum bottom is immediately a winner in my book i was i was really surprised when i took them out of the box i like them quite a bit sizing ones i think they fit a half size big compared to your true size i am a 12 and a half and an mx1 and most a6 and this is a size 12 and if i move into the front of the shoe i'm able to put my index finger here into the heel very easily so I think if you do not have overly big feet, you are good to go with a half size down. They do remind me of a New Balance 1300 that I have, but just like with that New Balance 1300 and a couple of the doors that I have, it has a little bit of creasing here at the toe box. Um, that is because the leather is so soft and so thin that the underlay as soon as it gets a little bump is uh, getting this out of shape a little but like I said other brands have this thing as well uh, maybe this is just on my pair if you're getting one of these make sure that you get a pair that is in pristine condition all, all this is a great shoe and uh, it does not come with the white lace that you can find in my pair I put these in it does come with a eggnog colored pair of laces and no spare laces so 130 euros for this one i think this is a great shoe and can't wait to throw it on feet so stay tuned for the on feet section coming up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like this video hit thumbs up and i hope i'm gonna see you next time so thanks for watching until then bye bye